Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Get I might? It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the Dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... That's when you showed up. Root! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventuring and I'll help you out where I can. Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. OK, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're going to be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there.
G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is death. Oh, goodness graces me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Huh? Mm, like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, Thunder Eggs power this talisman machine. Make sure you visit all the portals. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. What are you still doing here? Just press the jump button to get out. Seventy-one to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> hey, 
you'll have to use your wits to find all eight thunder eggs in each area. I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? Choppers, bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty, move on. Have a go at those crates. Speaking to a bloke down the local watering hole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. Shoe Ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now, there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. Have it easy these days. If you want to get a better look at your surroundings, just wiggle your camera stick. And you can adjust the camera distance by pressing the camera distance button. In my day, we had to get off our backsides if we wanted to see the world. It's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> Righto.
was a lad, there was this kid, Toothy Malone, I think his name was there, who could bite his way through a dozen pies in less than a minute. These aren't pies, mate, but I reckon you could chomp the lot by pressing the bite button quickly. Try biting them quickly to reach that thunder egg. might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Di. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulaceous Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. tell you this, but I have no idea what it means. Apparently, according to Julius, you can lock your camera on to enemies at any time by pressing and holding the lock on button.
Well, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. Well, there's no time to sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're gonna have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was gonna give you, but a bunch of frills stole it. You'll have to take them all on to get it back. Looks like today wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> you seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, it's all right. Uh, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. How? It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start gliding. Right. Is that safe? Safe as houses, mate. See if you can glide across this gap to reach that thunder egg. <laughs> Shoot, ripper! <sighs> Look at that. Me mate's mate, mate, mate was telling the truth after all. <laughs> Just as well I didn't call for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colours. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. OK. What's that for? The racetrack. You can race the clock to win another thunder egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging for me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. <laughs> See these funny looking mushrooms? A bloke down at the local water and hole reckons that if you stand in the middle of them, something weird will happen. Welcome to the track. Race to the finish as fast as you can, mate. The checkpoints will lead the way. But miss one and the race is over. <laughs> Good luck. a ripper of a race, tie. You're faster than a long-legged emu with a case of the belly aches. <laughs> case of the belly aches. I reckon you've earned this. Oh, you beauty!
found it. I found it. Let me see that. At last, a mystic talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. You there, fetch my bags. <laughs> Soon, unimaginable power will be mine, mine, mine. Oh, smell that fresh rainforest there. See the cute wallabies. Surf the slippery water slide. Watch out for those witches. Friend Shazza can get herself into a pickle sometimes. This time, that truck has broken down at the end of the forest road. You hoo But if that isn't bad enough, I spotted some blue tongue lizards nearby. You reckon you can give her a hand? Shoot bet, I'm on my way. some free advice. Certain enemies deflect gerangs with their thick skins, but are hopeless against those pearly whites of yours. <laughs> so sometimes you have to bite the bad guy.
Sentai, before you tackle this water slide, there are a few things you need to know. You can speed up and duck under the logs by pressing the bite button. And you can slow down by pulling back on the movement stick. G'day, Cobber. Oh, G'day, Ranger Ken. I need a favour, mate. There's a flock of cave bats in there. Cave bats? It's nearly the wet season, and we need to move them out before the caves flood. No worries.
It's nearly the wet season, and we need to move them out before the caves flood. No worries.
Shazza. Oh, shivers. Oh, Ty, am I glad to see you. Would you mind keeping those blue tongues off me back while I fill up my watering bottle? No worries. Thanks, Possum. Hit the boulders with your rang so they knock the blue tongues out of the way. Thanks heaps for what you did back there, Possum. Ah, no worries. By the way, I found this at the creek. You want it? Shoe ripper! Well, I better get a move on. See you soon, Possum.